Hi guys, Gavin here. So in the first episode, we talk about panels, comparing TN, VA and IPS panels. In the second episode, we talk about sync technology, comparing V-Sync, G-Sync, Fast-Sync and also Free-Sync technology. In this video, we'll be talking about color garment. It's the most confusing topic on the internet, but it's, I assure you, it's the easiest one to understand compared to the first two videos that I covered in the past. Now, color garment is basically a standard and there will be a percentage number representing it. So if they say in this monitor has, let's start with sRGB, has 80% sRGB, that means in this standard, that monitor can cover 80% of the colors of that particular standard, say sRGB. And the higher the percentage, the more it represents that color garment space. And you want more colors for a particular region. So we started earlier with sRGB, which is the baby smallest uh, color palette or color garment space that a monitor can have. Any monitor can have it with a certain amount of percentage to it. A color garment that is much bigger than sRGB will be Adobe RGB. It's used by professionals like photographers, designers, printers, and also anyone is using color-centric applications for their needs. It features the CMYK colors that is also found in printers. So what it means is whatever you edit on the monitor will be almost identical to what you print out. That's the benefit of Adobe RGB. Though you do need to have a white uh, color garment uh, monitor, say a monitor with almost 90 to 100% Adobe RGB color garment space to utilize this uh, printing potential. And the next thing is, there is some cost to consider because you regularly need to calibrate your monitor as well as your printer to get exactly what you see on monitor is what you get on the print. So it's used by professionals. A color garment that is slightly bigger than Adobe RGB is NTSC. It's a TV standard for colors. Yay, but I'm gonna share some numbers right now. 72% of NTSC is a rough estimate of 100% sRGB. 95% of NTSC would be a rough estimate of 100% Adobe RGB. So the next argument right here is, which is the best color garment for gaming? Frankly speaking, anyone would do. Seriously, everyone do. The most important thing is your in-game settings and your shadow control. Next one is price, which is the best. Well, when it comes to color garment, Adobe RGB is the best. It's great for professionals. It's catered for professional work. But those kind of monitors will be pricey. Monitors with sRGB color garment space or 72% NTSC would be affordable and it's great for normal internet usage like streaming, anime, Korean dramas, YouTube, internet, games, and basically Word documents. You will be fine with it and it's affordable to own those kind of monitors compared to Adobe RGB monitors that is going to be a little bit pricey. So why do companies use the term NTSC? It's a simplified manner to compare monitors easily. So some monitors may use sRGB but they have the NTSC number. Some monitor that does not use NTSC but they use Adobe RGB. The reason is people know that Adobe RGB is for professionals whereas NTSC is just a good representation of uh, how to compare different monitors with different percentage. So in this video, I never mentioned about few things. One, I never mentioned about the new format of HDR10. I never mentioned about the quantum dot panels that is using cinema colors. In fact, I never mentioned about cinema color garment because those are usually associated with projectors and they're coming into monitors, but we're only going to see them in the next 10 years. They are really new and it's really expensive to own one of those monitors right now. So in this video, it's mainly focused for people who want affordability and good price points per performance. So I hope this video is informative. As you can see that it's actually easy to understand about color garment. The most important bit about picking the right monitor will be definitely the panel and the sync technology that you're up for. So again, thank you for watching this video. Comment below what other topics about monitors should I talk next. And I'm gonna make that video on that topic and we can learn together. Remember to like, subscribe and share this video on social media. See you guys in the next video.